everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because why? Sharing Ivory Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys, oh, unfortunately guys, it's Italy 1. England won. Italy beating England in the Euros 2020 finals at Wembley. 3 2 on penalties. England missing three penalties. Marcus Rashford missing the penalty after coming on just to do one job. Marcus Rashford, you had one job and you came on to do twinkle toe, tinkle, 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 all that tinkle, 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 missing. Sancho as well, missing. Bakayo Saka, missing. The crucial goal. All three penalties. My oh my, it has been a hard one to take and I predicted England will win on penalties. <sighs> Not just for England to lose on penalties. How unfortunate, I am plastered, I am upset. It hurts. It really, really hurts. Football is not coming home for another year until the World Cup. Let's hope so. Stop singing this, it's coming home. I have to say, I'm proud of the players for reaching the final. It's just unfortunate to lose it in this kind of way. It is cruel. But big up to the lads. Gary Sides still done a thing. But I, again, I keep on saying it's time to move on. New manager, new way of playing, you know, to perfect. Look at what Italy's done, bringing in Roberto Mancini and perfecting. Congratulations to Italy. Congratulations to them. But it really hurts. My God, the whole match was tight. It was tight, guys. But eventually, eventually, Italy won on penalty. Yeah. And it hurts. It really hurts. It's just so hurts. Oh, guys. Oh. Football's not coming home. The Roman Empire has destroyed the British Empire, guys. It really hurts, you know. If it was the battle of the empires, we've lost. We've lost to the Romans, the bloody Romans. Looking into the game, how England started off tremendously well with Luke Shaw scoring in the first minute and 57 seconds. Brilliant play by, by the team. Wonderful cross for Trippier to find Luke Shaw. And at half time, you were singing it. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It never came home because why? Italy eventually equalized. Benucci. Italy sniffing, 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 and it came, and it was always going to come. Benucci getting that equaliser, and from there it went to extra time. You're there thinking, my, oh my, why, why, why? It went into extra time, guys, and for England to lose on penalty shootouts at Wembley, for the Italians to say it's coming to Rome instead, you know, oh, hurts. Benucci, oh, pure, just pissed off, guys. As always, I am pissed off, but I'm proud. I am proud. I'm so proud of the guys, but I'm so disappointed. And I know you guys are disappointed. You guys let me know what you thought of today's game because it has been a disappointment, but it's proud to be English right now because those boys did their thing. So annoyed, guys. Guys, you tell me what you thought of today's game. But Kyle Saka today came on, played absolutely shit, you know. I saw it. I was like, why did you bring him on? Bring on Jaden Sancho who can take on players. Because Bukayo Saka gave the ball away. He looked so nervous. It wasn't surprising for him to miss that penalty. I also thought the substitution was wrong from the manager as well. Um, wrong time. All three substitutions that came on missed the penalty. Mark Rashford had one, t one job and I don't know what he was doing. Jaden Sancho, unfortunate. But Bukayo Saka, as soon as he came on, I knew against Donnarumma, I knew he was going to miss. I knew he was going to miss. And it's just unfortunate, man. Arsenal players had to do us dirty. Manchester United players had to do us dirty, unfortunately. Big up to Luke Shaw. Big up to Luke Shaw. It hurts, guys. Guys, it's not coming home no more. Man of the match today, guys, has to go to Declan Rice. I thought he was tremendous. Absolutely covering every bit of blade. Don't care if the match has to go to Bukayo Saka. I know it's 19 and I know it hurts, but boy, you were shit. It is what it is. My three lines look forward to next summer because England will do it again. Proud of the boys. We did what we had to do. It was just unfortunate. It hurts so much. It will hurt all of you England fans. It's been a tough, it's been an excellent tournament, but it's been a tough one to take. A hard pillow to swallow. But it is what it is. Guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivory and Spice. Euros 2020 has been fantastic. Make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Also remember to share. Also remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And the official 
TikTok account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV, and also my personal Instagram account, which is Android underscore Spice. Again, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like, and remember to follow. As we're back to Manchester United, we've got one more show of the Euro 2020 catch up, and that's it, guys. See you next time. Peace out. I'm sorry. It's not coming home. It's not.